Hey there YouTube, it's your boy Lepid Ocho with another Evil Neurosama reaction. Today we got Lost Ones Weeping by Neru. Let's get right into it, shall we? Hit it. Lost Ones Weeping. I, I, this is, I'm already sorry for pausing, but this is one of those Vocaloid songs that I knew years ago. And it's one of those songs you actually just show people, just be like, bro, the lyrics to these song deep. And you actually see the lyric video, it's like, bars. Let's get into it. I already know the sections of the song, so I'm going to pause it right here. Interesting choice. I think high pitch is clean, first of all. Deeper sounds, more dampening. I think, I, I, I don't know if that's the right word. It's It feels more covered, I think, just to help it reach the lower vocals. But fair enough. I think I still feel like that's a you know really great word, Maskin. I think this is what? I think this came out. Uh, came out about, about you know about a year ago. So fair enough. Yeah, that that kind of that kind of makes sense. Let's keep going. No High pictures are clean. Mm. I'll, I'll pause it again, I'll pause it again, because it, it it feels so weird, because there are certain sections in those high pitches where you can hear, like, I think this is Len Kagabine's song, I think, or is it Ren? I'm not sure, I think it's Len's song, but those high pitches there, that's classic Len, like, you, I don't know how to explain it, it just sounds, it sounds so similar in certain sections, it's, ah, it's eerily similar? And again, once again, heard the song, saw the lyric video version of the song. I know the lyrics of the song, but it's about a kid who's, you know, struggling with growing up, um, you know, going through classes, really, you know, finding it difficult, doesn't really know why he's just being bogged down with so much homework, uh, the reason why his dreams are being crushed, because he wants to go and do something with his life, but, you know, it's when you go into the formal education system, dreams are meant to be broken, my brothers and sisters. It, it is what it is. For sure, it's weird. <laughs>
Okay. I'm sorry for pausing. To, uh, it's it's close to the end of the song, but what I was trying to figure out was okay. So was evil? Well, was evil Neurosama going for like a more original rendition of the song, like you know something that's more oriented to how Len sang the song, or something she wanted to do originally? And I think her pacing is different. The tonations are different. And honestly speaking, if it's a karaoke version of singing it. I mean, it's understandable. You're not trying to replicate the original song. You're trying to, you know, sing it in the best way you can. So fair enough. I understand it. And I let the song play out. But in my mind so far, I still think Len's version of the song sounds better. But then again, this is from one year ago. So who knows what she's capable of now. But I will let her finish the song before I speak more. What can I still say? This song is still a banger in 2024, fam. Lam. This is it's such a classic, nice song. Is what it is. Uh, but, well, I mean, classic, nice song in the sense that the lyrics are depressive and uh, uh, damning. But uh, apart from that, yeah. Uh, great fucking song. But uh, yeah, I, I still think Lynn's version of the song just sounds so much... What's the right word? Painful? <laughs> is Because if you've seen the original lyrics, uh, the actual, like, you know, the video... Uh, sorry, the music video for the original song... It is depressing, it is sad, and the lyrics horrifying in some moments, but uh, I digress. Still think Evil Neurosama did a good job at it, but you know, as with all Vocaloid AI voices uh, hell-bent on world domination, there's still, there's still a long way to go. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I will catch you beautiful bastards in the next one. Peace, take care. Noise.